Hello guys, this is Rohan back again with another video and this time we will be checking out the phone pause screen recorder software. As the name suggests, this software lets you record your computer screen. The software works on both Windows and Mac. You can download the trial version from here and if you are satisfied then you can go ahead and purchase it. I will provide all the links in the description box below. Let's move on to the software. If you have the trial version installed, there will be a few limitations. You can only record for up to 3 minutes and you cannot trim the videos. Here we have three options to choose from. We have the video recorder, audio recorder, screen capture and more settings which we'll take a look at later. Let's start with the video recorder first. As soon as I click on it, we get a new menu and there's this blue border. The blue border will be the recording size of the video. You can turn off the display if you want from here. Or if you have multiple monitors, you can switch them from here. If you have a webcam, you can use that as well. Unfortunately, I don't have one with me right now, so I won't be able to show that. We can change the volume of the system from over here. Then there's the microphone capture. You can turn it off if you don't want the recorder to record your microphone's audio. You can also set the record length from over here. So if you want to record the video for a specific length, you can do that. And let's just hit record. Here you get a pop-up window which tells you the recording shortcuts. Let me close that. So the recording has started and we can see a small menu. You can pause or stop the recording from over here. This is to minimize the window. Click over here to get the window back. This camera icon can be used to take a screenshot. You can set the recording length from here as well. And this is the edit menu. The edit menu can do quite a few things which might come in handy. Let's check out each of them. I can make a rectangle, circle, I can even draw lines. Arrows can be quite important. You can even draw stuff with the brush tool. There's the paint option. There's also a color palette available if you want to change the color. And you can write some text on the screen if you want. There's also a numbering system of sort. You can do that as well. And if you make a mistake, then you can just erase it. You also get an undo and redo feature which is quite useful. Clicking on delete will delete all the edits. That's all for the edit menu. Over here we have the settings menu. You can enable the webcam from over here. And you can also change the system and microphone sound from here. If you don't want a specific window in the recordings then you can do that from here. So I will just stop the recording for now. As you can see, I don't see the recording menu from over here. And the software has managed to capture everything properly. You can trim the video from over here or you can use this slider. But since I'm using the trial version, this option is disabled. You can alter the sound, take a screenshot, go to full screen if you want. And if you didn't like the footage, then you can just simply re-record it. Let's save the video file. This is where you can select the save path. And I got this 3 minute window, let's close that. I have a video file and the snapshot ready. Let's have a look.
I believe it was this one. You can view the snapshots from over here. You can delete a specific file by clicking on delete, or you can just click here and remove them all if you want. So that was the video recorder. You can see the recording history from over here. You can also schedule a task from here. Let me do one quickly. Here you can see the start time. You can even set it to one day or even one month from now. You can repeat the task on specific days. Then these are some options that stop the recording. You can choose the type of recorder from over here. And you're done. You can turn off the task from over here. Uh, here are some of the advanced settings. Let me set a custom 720p screen for this. And let's select follow the mouse. So what this will do is that the recorder will follow the mouse. As you can see, the recorder is following the mouse. Let's stop it and see the result. And uh, as expected, we got our result. I will mention the other settings in the upcoming written review, so be sure to check it out. Let's move on to the audio recorder now. This is basically the same as the video recorder, but the software will just record the audio. You can change the audio settings from here and then simply record it. And there we have the audio file. The last one is the screen capture, which lets you take a screenshot. Just drag the mouse from one end to the other. Then you can make simple edits on it and then save it. Over here, you can find the last recorder, which loads up your previous recording settings. Here we have the settings tab from where you can do stuff like changing the mouse color, changing the hotkeys, the output location. You can also set the file format according to your requirements. And these are just quick shortcut settings. You can click over here to toggle between the mini recorder. Click here to go back to the original menu. So that's basically it for this software. All the links will be in the description box below. Make sure to check out our full written review on dragonblogger.com and I will see you next time.